What's going on? My name is James and Bianca. And we're with thisisboise.com and today instead of going to the theater and doing all that nonsense, we decided to talk, talk about our favorite Christmas movies, our top five. Top five of mine? My top five. And top five of that. So we're going to dive into it in release order. These are not like order from like one to five. This is from when they were released in history. Most of these movies are older than me and Bianca, so we're just kind of talking about that and giving you our thoughts on Christmas traditions. For my family, one of the most important movies of the year is It's a Wonderful Life. It came out in the mid-1940s. Actually had a really interesting run, like critically and box office. At first it made no money, uh, was critically shamed, nominated for an Oscar, and then it was nothing for years and then no one had the rights to it, mm -hmm. so TV shows could run it without paying royalties. And that's why it became the classic it is now. That's pretty So sweet. before it was nothing, and now it's this big thing. But I think the movie's fantastic. It's only gotten better for me as I grow older, and I appreciate more uh, film. And so that movie is always just one we always watch every year. So um, one of my favorites is A Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, I feel like everybody's really familiar with uh, Charlie Brown. Um, but the I feel like the Christmas one, the Christmas movie, essentially, kind of gets uh, lost in the mix of things when you have bigger um, names for movies. Um, so this one, um, he kind of goes through this kind of uh, depressive state where he really seems to notice that Christmas is becoming more about gifts um, and money and uh, he, he really wants to find the true meaning of Christmas. And uh, obviously you have all your favorite characters that come up in the movie and things like that and uh, he gets rid of his Yuletide blues and really finds that Christmas means something different to everybody. And um, it's a really great story, it's really fun. It's a good movie for, for every age, whether you know, you're 42 or you're six years old. There's, it's, it's great for everybody, so I really recommend that one. Awesome. Next on the list, for me at least, is White Christmas. This one is as classic as it gets. There's the song by Bing Crosby. He's mm -hmm. in this movie as well, the, the original 1954 one. Uh, this is, it speaks for itself. I remember my sister one year, I think she was in first or second grade, she sang this like, oh. at my elementary school and she's like, we made this, it was a big thing. It was like her idea or something like that, something insane. And yeah, so it was a huge thing, been a part of her family forever. I, to this day, I remember the dance scene where the, the girl, have you seen my Christmas? I haven't. And so there's this one scene, you gotta watch just for the scene, there's dancing and this girl, is it's a tap dancer and mm -hmm. then she's like tapping her foot and it looks like it's not moving but it's making like thousand mile Very an hour rapid. it's insane oh, it's wow. just pure talent and that's and that's not even about the movie but just, i just remember that scene standing out <laughs> so yeah white christmas is number four if we're gonna go in chronological order for me one that i recently found out that is kind of either a love or a hate for a lot of folks is a christmas story mm -hmm. um this one I actually did not see until I was in my late teens. Um, you know, I always saw the iconic lamp with the leg and the stocking and the heel, um, but I never knew what it was from. I just thought it was some weird thing that people had in their house for the holidays. Um, but it actually became one of my favorite movies because it really did kind of like touch on everything kind of growing up as a kid, wanting that one gift that your parents were like, no, you can't have it. Um, Cause I feel like everybody wanted that yeah. one gift that you knew you were gonna probably injure yourself yeah. to, with. Um, so obviously he wanted the um, the, red, the rifle, her BB gun, I guess, technically. Red Rider. Yeah, the Red Rider rifle. Um, so, and uh, you know, his uh, mom didn't want to get it cause he would shoot his eye out. So um, he, the story just kind of develops uh, with uh, it coming closer to the holidays and him dreaming about this and, um, stuff so uh, one of my favorites uh, really funny and like I said either you love it or you hate it but I would definitely give it a shot awesome. so everybody knows the claymation movies like yeah Rudolph where you got Santa Claus comes town my favorite of those is a year without a Santa Claus that was the year that was the movie where he was just kind of tired he just wanted literally a break a year off Understandable. and then the world was like shocked about it like Santa's taking a year off my goodness and you get to see that story, you get class characters like the Heat Miser and the Snow Miser. Some great songs throughout mm -hmm. the movie, so fantastic. I highly recommend That's my favorite, like, claymation, animation, whatever kind of movie. And that I watch every year with my family. Nice. 
this one should be on everybody's list, I feel like, which is not on yours, but um, Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin. Um, I mean, come on, it's a classic. Like, you cannot love this movie. Um, he gets left behind. He, uh, or, I'm sorry, let me think. Um, he murders. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, his, so his family is leaving for a trip for Christmas, and he ultimately gets left behind, which turns out to be really awesome, but then two uh, characters happen to uh, try and break into the house. So yeah, I'm not going to ruin it if you haven't seen it, but definitely see it. It's a good Christmas classic. So now we're getting into more recent movies, and so on my list is Elf. We've, my family's always loved Elf, and I know this movie's kind of like... <laughs> I talk to people about this movie all the time, and they either love it or they either hate it. Will Ferrell's kind of a polarizing guy. I love the movie. I also love Jon Favreau. He's one of my favorite directors. Mm -hmm. Very inspiring to me. And I just think it gets the spirit of Christmas so well. Like, Will Ferrell's performance is so earnest and so pure, mm -hmm. and I just love it so much. So that is always a um, must-watch for me. And Zoe Deschanel. We can't forget about She's Zoe She's adorable. Deschanel. She's, She's great. She's got an amazing Christmas singing voice. Yeah, she does. Wow. So the next one up, uh, second to last for my list, would be The Santa Claus um, with Tim Allen. Uh, great, great film. Um, I feel like as I get older, the funnier it is because there's so much, there's so many innuendos in the movie that you don't understand as a child. And then as you get older, things become more relatable and you understand them. Um, so uh, some people, you know, they, they kind of laugh it off because it's a Tim Allen flick, but go see it it's it's a great family movie and um you know you can really be any age and enjoy it i like all of those movies i genuinely like all three of them the... yeah and two's great i like two a lot actually i don't yeah. know that one gets kind of a lot of heat i i enjoyed it he had to find himself a woman i do yeah. it's kind of weird though like you just force that yeah it's kind of weird. that's true so to wrap up the list was my most recent release movie, 2011, Arthur Christmas. Now you have not seen Arthur Christmas. I have Christmas. not. I highly recommend seeing Arthur Christmas. There was kind of this blow up of Christmas movies in not too long ago that made Christmas very technological and how it made it possible like with space travel and stuff like that. This movie does that but then also has a really pure heart within it too. And there's a reindeer in there that makes me think of my old dog who passed away. And so it'll be the first year I actually watch it without her. Yeah, I will miss her very much. But no, overall the movie is just so pure, so funny. The grandpa character is hysterical. Just listen to him. Everything he says is gold. And I think it's just one of the most Christmas spirit movies that's come out, I think, since Elf for me. Like, the spirit is just insane. Through the roof. Through the roof. I love it. Um, so the last one on my list is A Christmas Carol. Uh, was made by Disney, and the really, really cool thing about this movie is that it, uh, Jim Carrey's in it, uh, Gary Oldman's in it as well, um, a couple other people that I can't think off the top of my head right now. Um, but Jim Carrey is plays the character of Ebenezer Scrooge, and it's all it's all animation, and he plays the ghost of uh, Christmas past and present, and you can see his face, it, well, kind of see his face, like in these animations. Um, which I thought was like really really awesome and uh, it was just beautiful the imagery of it the way that the story was told um, you know you grow up hearing the, the story um, and it's just kind of nice seeing it on the screen and it just being so visually dynamic and um, it's definitely one that I will say I watch more than once during the holidays oh, really? yeah I do so um, I would highly recommend checking it out and uh, it's kind of be careful with watching it with little kids because there are some kind of like, is, scary it get, parts. It gets kind of dark. It's yeah, dark it's the really the ghost of uh, what is it? Fu future. I think it's future. I don't know. Yeah, it's he basically looks like death. Yeah. So um, kind of just be careful about that. But um, other than that, it, it it leaves you with a really good um, feeling at the very end, seeing that he has this huge character development after being shown all these things. So definitely check it out. Awesome. So that's our five Christmas movies mine for James and then you got Bianca's five I hope you enjoyed please if you have your five or one or one that we missed please comment below and please like share subscribe all that good stuff any and all support is deeply loved and hope you have a great holiday season and we're coming in for a group hug yep here it comes group hug. bring it in bring it in <laughs>